So let me draw Mandela's matrix. Mm, maybe right here. Mendel's matrix is a tool that you can use to map out the different stakeholders here. We have interest and then power. So the way it works is like this. You have the level of interest at the top. How much is that stakeholder interested in the company? And then on the left, you have how much power does that person have over the company? So if we look at the, the, the box in the top left, they have low interest, low power. They will be considered minimal effort. You do the least amount of effort for them because they don't care and they don't have power over your business. They don't have any impact. Um, what about the box below? They have low interest, but high power. This could be, for example, the bank, right? The creditor, the, you made a huge loan to them. Maybe they don't really care about the day-to-day -day operations of your business. So they have low interest but they have really high power over you because you have a huge loan from them. So this one will be keep satisfied. Now, what about very high interest, but very low power? So for example, a super enthusiastic customer, like a blogger who loves your bakery, but he doesn't have many followers on his social media. So he doesn't have a lot of power, but he's a super fan. So high interest, but low power. Keep informed. And the last box is high, high, very high power, very high interest. And this one is the key players. Okay. Now, a quick mention last, which is connected to stakeholders, is the agency problem or agency relationship. So the agency theory is the idea that you have a principle and an agent and there is a relationship so the principal is the shareholder he invested $100 so if you are um, you bought stocks of Tesla, you are the principal. You bought a very small amount, but still you have one or two shares of Tesla. So you are a shareholder, you're the principal. The agent is the CEO or management. They are working for you to protect your principal. They are the steward of your capital just like in an airline company or in a, on a plane they say the stewardess because she's there to protect you from a to b so the problem is there is always conflict so you 
are a very small investor and the CEO is flying away on a private plane on the company's bank account. And you cannot go out and tell him, call him and tell him, stop doing that. This is my money you're playing with. Take care of the company better. You can't. There is a gap. There is a, um, a communication problem here. Uh, so that's what we call the agency problem. So under the agency theory, we have the agency problem. All right.